Well, the first point is that MET alterations actually come in various different types. And so when we say MET positive, it could actually mean many different things. And so we have to be a bit more accurate with our language. The two main MET alterations that we've been able to target in lung cancer are MET amplification and MET exon 14 skipping mutations. MET amplification means that there's an excess amount of MET uh, DNA um, and as a result there's more MET on the surface of the cancer and these cells um, uh, use it as a growth signal and uh, we see this in about 2% of patients with, with lung cancer. You know, MET exome 14 skipping is, is a little bit of a different alteration. It, it essentially uh, means that, um, you know, when, when cancers try to copy all of their DNA and, 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 and then make proteins, they go from DNA to RNA to proteins and, and they, they basically splice out different parts of, of, of MET and of the DNA and, and bring it together into RNA. Um, when there's a mistake and, and one portion is left out um, and that portion we call exome 14, it can lead to excess amounts of MET on the surface of the cancer cell. So again, the same sort of principle in that it, it, it leads to an overabundance of MET on the surf, surface of the cancer and as a result leads to increased growth signals. Um, and this is important because it can lead to vulnerabilities in the cancer. So it is important um, for patients first to be tested for MET, both uh, MET amplification as well as MET exome 14 skipping. And, and we now have an FDA approved therapy um, if a patient were found to be uh, with MET exome 14 skipping.